Hey guys, I am the Comics Kid 2099, and this is another installment of Missed Opportunities. If you've never seen me do one of these videos before, basically I talk briefly about a novel, a movie, a comic book, or a TV show, and I say this is what they did, and it was wrong. This is what they should have done. I've been doing several different TV series lately. I did a couple of videos on Smallville, I think. I did one video on the BBC series Merlin. And now I'm doing one on the American series from NBC called Heroes. This show started back in 2006, I believe, and it pretty much took America by storm. It was huge. It was gigantic. And then after uh, a season, it kind of lost uh, a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people hated season two. I did not hate it nearly as much as everyone else, but then again, in retrospect, I did not like Hero season one as much as everyone else. So that's weird for me. But as the show kept going, it started getting worse and worse. I will give them that season three was one of the worst things in the history of eyeballs. Anyway, uh, specifically, I wanted to do a Missed Opportunities thing on one of the characters from this show, Claire Bennett. If you never watched the show, she was there from the beginning. She was one of the core characters, and she had a healing factor, kind of like Wolverine. She did not have any offensive powers like Wolverine, so no claws or anything like that. She could just heal. And her father, actually she was adopted, so it was her adopted father, he worked for the company, which I don't think we ever really get a clear idea of what the company's motivations are, but largely we see him kidnapping people who have powers, experimenting on them, and then releasing them back into the wild. It was really fuzzy on what exactly he did for the company, but anyway, he was definitely morally gray. Her purpose in the show was basically, I'm a teenager, my body is changing, I don't know what's going on, I don't know if I like my new self, and then slowly coming to the realization that this is who I am now, I'm okay with that, and accepting who she is. She had a friend who was played by the guy who eventually went on to play John Connor in the Sarah Connor Chronicles. He was just in the show for that first season and not even all of the first season. And originally the plan was that this guy was going to be gay and they were going to do a parallel where he would say, listen, you have to be comfortable with who you are just like I am with who I am. But then they scrapped that storyline because his agent said, listen, he's about to get a job as a lead in another show. And if you do this storyline, it might hurt his chances there. I don't know if it would have or not. That's up for debate. Basically, near the end of the season, right before all the big action stuff happened with Silar and the Exploding Man and all of that, before all of that really hit the fan, Claire finally became okay with being a uh, meta or whatever it was that they called uh, the people with powers. I don't think they ever came up with a name, but she was finally okay with it. And then season two rolls around. Season one basically had her becoming okay with who she was and becoming okay with who her father was. Once she found out that he was working for the company, at first she was like, I hate you. I'm never going to talk to you again. And then she kind of became okay with what he was doing because she realized why he was doing it. So what does season two do? The exact same thing. It has her become okay with what her father is doing and it has her become okay with being a hero or whatever it was that they called the people with powers. I don't really understand this. I think part of it is originally their big idea was after each season they're going to get rid of some of the characters who've kind of fulfilled their arc and bring in new characters. Well they sort of did that. You had characters like DL, Isaac Mendez, those guys weren't in the show after season one but then all the characters that they would introduce after season one didn't really stick around for very long. You had characters like Monica and Maya, and they didn't really have anything to do after season two. And so you just kind of have this weird cyclical thing where the people behind the show, it's like, well, we wanted to originally kind of have this be a rotating cast, but it seems like nobody really cares about the characters that we introduced after season one. So we're just going to have to kind of do the same things with the characters from season one again and again and again. So I stopped watching this show after season three. Apparently, Claire's big moment in season four was, you guessed it, becoming okay with having powers and learning to accept that her father does morally gray things to protect her and his family. 
this is not okay. When you have a main character who's on a show that lasts four years, and each season you do the exact same arc with that character, that is just lazy and kind of dumb. So here comes the part where I tell you what I would have done differently. Well, the key here is trying to find anything for this character to do. And the idea came to me earlier today, Claire's father was borderline villainish. He wasn't outright evil, but he was definitely not a good guy. He did some things that would not be considered good. Ultimately, he had good intentions. He wanted to protect his family at all costs, but he would do some things that were definitely not good things in order to achieve those methods. I think it would have been really interesting, even temporarily, to see Claire go down the path of becoming a villain. After she's accepted who she is, maybe she comes to accept that the normal people are never going to accept her. She's okay with who she is, but they're not okay with who she is. And then she kind of sort of goes the route of Magneto. You have Magneto in the comics, he has powers, and he's come to this decision that people without powers are never going to accept the people who do. And so eventually she kind of starts doing things that are not exactly good. And there's sort of a precedent for this. In season one, she was willing to kill a guy that she went to school with because he attempted to rape her. And so she would definitely be the kind of person who would do very extreme things for the cause of whatever she believed in. And if she believed in the cause of superiority of people with powers over the people without powers, that would be an interesting direction to take this character, I think. At the very least, this would give her something to do instead of retreading the same character arc over and over and over for each season. Not to mention, this would have been really interesting to see audience reaction to this. You have a main character in this show who started off as basically an innocent teenager, kind of sort of becoming a proto-Magneto, not quite a fully formed villain who truly believes in her cause, but getting to that point. That would have been really interesting. In the same way that Lex Luthor is kind of going through his changes to become a villain in the TV series Smallville, this would kind of sort of be like that, except that when you first see Claire Bennett, you don't instantly know, ah, she's going to be a villain at the end of the series, like you did with Lex Luthor. Now, I never actually really cared for the character of Claire, mostly because she kept doing the same thing over and over and over, and it just got bored after a while. But if you were a fan of Claire, maybe you really hate this idea, the idea of her becoming a villain. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you think that I'm stupid and that this would be a really dumb thing to do. Or if you like this video, be sure to give it an old thumbs up and be sure to share, comment, subscribe, do all those things that you love doing on YouTube videos. And that's about all I have to say here. So I will see you guys tomorrow with another kind of video. Until then, have a great day.